I work in the area of effluent treatment from paper technology, that is paper mill effluents, specifically black liquor. It's a very high BOD and high polluting. So I work in the area of its treatment through electrolysis, that is electrochemical methods. You're talking about the economics of why it is that we don't tackle climate change. Uh, people talk about how hard the science is and how hard the politics is, but uh, the economics is really quite simple. Uh, we simply just need to start charging polluters for the pollution that they put into the atmosphere, and we need to use some of that money to invest in the alternatives that are far less polluting. We look at the domestic waste services where we're doing uh, curbside waste collection and recycling. We operate a number of transfer stations and these are small facilities that people visit to drop off their waste and segregate their recyclables. We also operate a, um, a landfill. The presentation I'm going to give here in this conference is about a techno-economic feasibility of this. Specifically, it is a simulation study how this is going to be economically viable. Science by its nature is about disagreement. It's may, maybe this, maybe that. And um, while there is some scientific uncertainty relating to some small bits of climate change, there's overwhelming scientific certainty about the, the general direction of what's going on. But uh, for, uh, for people who don't want to do anything, and for politicians who don't want to do anything, that little bit of scientific uncertainty is a great excuse to do nothing. The big issue is really is, is having a strategic direction in, in terms of, of uh, uh, local government's uh, visions and provision of services for its community for the next uh, 20 years. So essentially what are we doing? We're, we're looking at waste minimisation, we've got a landfill site, we're looking at expanding that landfill site, um, there is regional um, collaboration there. Um, we've got a MRF that's up and going here in Rocky now, uh, which is a material recycling facility for processing of uh, recyclable material. What does that mean to us? It means saving something like $8,000 a week because we're able to recycle locally rather than send it down to Brisbane. My idea is to integrate wind energy with this electrolysis process rather than selling the electricity from the wind directly to the grid. Instead, use that electricity to drive the electrolysis process, generate hydrogen from it, and sell that hydrogen to the transport sector. I think it's great that, uh, that young researchers can have an opportunity like this to spend a bit of time together, and it's also a great opportunity for them to, um, uh, to, to let other people know what they're working on and, and start to build the collaborations that they'll rely on as they, uh, as they go on with their careers. It's good. I mean, the campus is very good. The hospitality is good. Today is only the first day of the conference, in that sense, and I think it's good. Uh, yeah, we've, we've generated a little bit of interest and uh, um, yeah, uh, there's been some interest um, uh, shown by the uh, uh, delegates.